Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the sarcastic barman, and welcome to my channel. I've had enough the last two days with crazy anti-vaxxers, so we've got someone new and crazy today. Let's have a look, shall we? Hey, health seekers, it's Kate Shamarani here, natural nurse in a toxic world. No! No! Fucking no! And furthermore, why? Oh God, it's back. Ugh. All right, what fucking craziness are you talking about today, woman? There is something else that you're asking me about, and it's about 5G. Oh, people are asking you about 5G, are they? And I guess based on your previous fucking comments in videos and other shit you've produced, that you're going to cock this up well and truly, completely and utterly, and completely ignore what frequencies 5G operates on, its power that it operates on, or anything like that. And you can say, ah, it's dangerous. Ah. You sound like one of the fucking nutters who was like, 4G is dangerous, it's going to kill us. And 3G is dangerous, it's going to kill us. And mobile phones are going to kill us. Everything's going to fucking kill you, you daft woman. Just not in the way you fucking think. And there, there's lots out there about 5G. I basically touched on it a little bit about what it does to the oxygen. You, you can't, it absorbs oxygen. And then the hemoglobin part of your red blood cells can't bind to it. And so you don't get oxygen to your cells if it's beamed right at you. Are you serious? Now I think I know what crap you're peddling here. And it's a report about 60 gigahertz waves, the effects on oxygen and absorption and things like that. Nothing to do with the human body. And also nothing to do in the way you think, because did you not know that 5G doesn't actually use the 60 gigahertz band? Do you know why? Because it doesn't transmit very far. But you've been able to buy Wi-Fi routers for fucking years that have done 60 gigahertz. So no, just no. You're taking something and going, oh look, it says 60 gigahertz. And, and 5G can operate from anything from whatever up to 95 gigahertz, so it must be bad for you. Yes, but no one's using that 60 gigahertz range, you daft bins. So let's just talk a little bit about aluminium. Now I've touched on this on some of my posts that aluminium stops certain immune responses. So it stops your macrophages and your lymphocytes working. And it's also a neurotoxin, it goes to the brain. No, no it doesn't. Your macrophages and lymphophages are not affected by aluminium, you lying bumhole. Your cytotoxic T cells are very slightly affected by aluminium and this has been shown in fucking studies. You're just making shit up at this point, aren't you? Because otherwise you would have looked at proper medical studies based on test groups with aluminium and their intake and people who don't take in as much aluminium and seeing the differences between their bodies and the immune responses and things like that. But obviously you didn't. And yes, aluminium is a neurotoxin. But do you know where we get most of our aluminium from? Food. Oh, and tea. But you, also, you do get a lot of aluminium in things like cake mix, self-rising flour, table salt, uh, pancake mix, shit, processed shit like that. But tea, oolong, black, regular, just tea contains a lot of aluminium. But do you know what's even worse? If you have an aluminium cooking pan, you'll get more aluminium from the cooking pan than you will from the food to start with. So shut up. You have no idea. And I know this is going to go down such a rabbit hole of fucking craziness. Now, it's in your vaccines. It's being sprayed from above with the chemtrails. And if there's anyone out there going, oh, that's all conspiracy theory, you've had too much fluoride. There's so much evidence out there about the chemtrails. You've got ex-military, you've got aircraft pilots. They're all, you know, talking about it. Also, rainwater has been analysed. And, and I, I think it was something like, it, well, it was in the thousands of micrograms of aluminium were in the rainwater. There shouldn't be any in there. Chemtrails are bollocksy conspiracy theories. If not, present the fucking evidence. I will be waiting. I want proper reports, proper photos, proper chemical readouts of what is being put off these planes or being sprayed from these planes. And I also want you to explain the difference between chemtrails and contrails, for fuck's sake. And as for aluminium being in your rainwater, why would it not be in your rainwater? You do know that Things like soil erosion, farming, all most industrial things, burning coal, anything like that, puts aluminium in the atmosphere, don't you? The rainwater is then going to pick that aluminium up as it comes back down. 
So yeah, though I think your your number of a thousands of milligrams is probably fucking wrong. So yeah, you're just digging the hole, but let's keep going with the hole digging, shall we? That's all being sprayed down. I see it. I worked for an airline for te uh, almost 10 years and I know what a contrail is. I also know the difference and I see them spraying on sunny days and all the crisscrosses in the sky and then this kind of spreads out and forms a haze over the sunshine. I mean, Bill Gates, that gangster, he actually was in the press. It's on my timeline. I, I photographed the page of the paper saying that global warming, we should think about spraying particles in the atmosphere. Really? Really? Ooh, look at that. So you say you know the difference, but you didn't explain what the difference is. And if you worked for an airline, did that mean you saw the tanks, you saw the sprays? Or are you just saying, yes, I worked for an airline? Dear me, as for Bill Gates, he's not the first and won't be the last person to probably say to help combat global warming, spraying things in the atmosphere to reflect fucking solar radiation and sunlight could be a plan. So, what? Does just just what you just really don't like Bill Gates, do you? I hope you use Apple. Now let's just talk a little bit about fluoride in the water, then glyphosate that's all in the land. It's in the water table when that goes in the body. Then aluminium that's in the vaccines and it's sprayed from above. Then you put Wi-Fi in there, and it opens your blood-brain barrier. All of that goes in your brain and it calcifies your pineal gland. Show me medical reports and scientific studies showing that this is happening. Because at the moment, it's just people like you and Mark fucking still going, Ooh, it's crazy. And what's worse, half the time, some of the you nut jobs that have been going around have been saying, Oh, look at this 5G tower. It's not even a 5G tower sometimes. You're fucking useless. Get, get onto the chemtrails. There's not a lot known in modern allopathic medicine about the pineal gland. They know that it can regulate hormones, but there's a lot talked about in ancient medicine. And it's talked about how that is your higher self, your conscience, your pineal gland. It is your uh, connection with the mothership, if that's what you think, with God. We have a pineal gland for a reason. Nature does not make a mistake. You are either lying or you're stupid. I'm stupid. Stupid. Now, saying that nature doesn't make mistakes is very narrow-minded or just fucking stupid. The entire course of evolution be can be classed as a series of fuck-up and mistakes and mutations and shit like that, which are basically fucking mistakes. The path of leandrical nerve that comes from here, down here, round a bit of your heart and comes back up could be classed as a fucking mistake. Just because something works doesn't mean it wasn't a fucking mistake, you daft bint. So we're always told, aren't we, that it's safe till you're told it's not safe. So let's look at fluoride for a minute. It was a, by a byproduct um, of industry, and then it was added to the water, and we were told it was good for our teeth. Endless studies out there. I've done a video on it. It's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your skeleton. It's not good for any of your organs, your brain. Now, are these the same studies that say the correct amount of fluoride in water, toothpaste, mouthwash, and things like that are fine and good for you and can help prevent tooth decay but also then state that large excessive amounts of fluoride can cause skeletal problems brain problems and things like that the same with almost everything you're going to go on about the right amount is fine excessive amounts are really bad for you this goes for basically everything in the world too much of something will kill you the right amount is good not enough can be bad. You, you, you. Oh. Certainly not good for your IQ, IQ. Harvard studies, it shouldn't be in there. Then we were told that uh, vaccines were good for us. Well, you can go on forever about that. I am a nurse. I don't agree with any of the vaccines anymore because I know what's in them. And I've gone through it all. I know all the crafty language of what's in vaccines. Many vaccines contained immortalized cells that will not switch off. You cheeky dick waffle! Excuse me, crafty language. You do remember your uh, Bill Gates video, don't you? Hey, for anyone who doesn't remember, this one and some very choice clips. Potassium chloride, formaldehyde, urea. How about no? So, formaldehyde, your body makes it. Mercury, 
it's in shitloads of fish. Potassium chloride. It's basically salt. Well, a salt substitute. I will make that correction now before people pull me up on it. But they probably will because I said that in the last video. So if you're not using salt, a lot of people use potassium chloride. Your body can handle it fucking fine. Formaldehyde, your body produces 1.6 ounces of it a day. Mercury, you'll get a shitload more from a tuna sandwich than you will from a fucking vaccine. Same goes for aluminium. Aluminium, you'll get more in your diet. You are just talking out your fucking ass and scaremongering fucking people, aren't you? What the fuck is wrong with you? People like you should be fucking locked up. You are putting people's lives in danger. And anti-vaxxers like you have been responsible for people's fucking deaths when those deaths could have been avoided. The fuck... I hope to never see your ass on the internet again. I'm really hoping that YouTube pulls up your channel and goes, nope, delete. But knowing YouTube, it'll sit about for far longer than it fucking should. Just fuck no. Oh, you fucking people. Right, I've had enough of your shit. I'm going. I need a beer. I am the Sarcastic Barman. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Leave me some crazy comments about this bloody woman. And we'll get on with the next video. Good night.